This week in Epic Airsoft HD, I review one of my personal favourites. It's the G&G UMG, known to you as the Heckler & Koch UMP45. A while back, we had a video of our Airsoft World Tour, the store. I picked out this as one of my favourite guns. It's a UMP 45. Uh, absolutely awesome gun. It's great for CQB, Woodland, and uh, it performs so well. I've already had experience with one of these guns. Let's look at some of the features here. First thing's pretty obvious, it's a folding stock. It comes out, it locks into place. Excellent. It's fixed so you can't adjust it backwards and forwards like most guns nowadays do but I really like that about it. It gives a nice solid feel and it shoulders extremely well. The gun itself, like the real thing, is made out of a uh, polycarbonate plastic fiber. It's absolutely sturdy. I don't be put off because it's not metal. This gun isn't supposed to be metal. Most of the head and cocks range aren't anyway. Uh, the full rail on the top here can accommodate any kind of scope uh, red dot, EOTech, anything you want to put on there and you've also got rails are plenty on the front. Uh, these are removable if you prefer the kind of naked feel which I do, I would have been taking them off. Uh, the cocking handle on this side is functioning, it locks back and exposes the hob unit on this side, one of the best hob units I've ever encountered. Uh, you can do the HK slap if you want but uh, obviously didn't work there, rather embarrassing. You've got two sling attachments on this side as well and you also have the bolt uh, locking piece. Um, magazine release is as you'd expect. Magazine comes out. This holds 550 rounds, it's a high cap. You can also get 50 round mid caps for this gun if you're a kind of mil sim player. Uh, these are readily available in Airsoft World which you can check in the links in the description below. This gun is available at most reputable airsoft stores, likes of Airsoft GI and Evike. Uh, here in the UK, Airsoft World stock this gun. You can check out those stores again using the links in the description below. Uh, this gun shoots so well, I've had experience with this obviously, and uh, I'm really excited to see how it does on the range. It's Performance is unparalleled as far as I'm concerned. Um, the hob unit in this is far superior to any I've used. So let's see how it stacks up against the competition. For this test, we're going to be using 0.32 gram BBs. They're about the heaviest I'd put through an EEG. The reason for that is the hob unit in this gun is so good, it just skies 0.2 gram BBs straight out of the park. So we're going to start ahead and we're probably just going to leave it at 0.32 gram BBs. I wouldn't put anything lighter than a 0.25 through one of these, just to warn you if you're going to go ahead and buy one. Right, we're tightening the vise. I want to give this gun the best chance it has. Doing well on the range. All right, let's have a look at that shooting test. Uh, the target there is absolutely peppered run about here. It's a nice neat grouping, especially for a gun with such a short barrel. It's only about 120 millimeters long, something like that. Uh, 0.32 gram BBs, I absolutely destroyed the target. Excellent gun. I might be a little slightly biased, but I just really like it. Really, really good result. So this gun is available for around about the 250, 300 pound mark. Uh, excellent value for money. It takes a stick battery along the top here as well. Those are quite easy and accessible to get. Uh, the battery is easily change changeable. But yeah, oh, fantastic. Probably my favorite CQB weapon. You can uh, compare this gun to the rest of the guns we've done by clicking on the annotations there. Uh, find out your nearest retailers by clicking the links in the description below. And you can see our next videos by clicking here to the subscri subscribe. Do that, we'll see you next week.